All right, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to show you how to splice film with this simple $10 film splicer I got off of eBay. Uh, they're always on eBay. This is the generic kind that doesn't light up. That's why you see a light source all the way over here. I just have a regular lamp. Sorry about the brightness. Um, what it does is splices your film. You load your film in and you chop it. That's all. Makes it a lot easier than holding your film up to the light and trying to balance your hand while you hold a pair of scissors. So this is how you use it. Um, it accepts 35 and 120 film. So you, you just slide it up in here and there's a little gear right here. So what we're going to do is turn it till it catches it and it's all on its own. And pull my light source closer. And you can also use a light box. So you pull the film up to where you want. Uh, pull it up to the 35 mark and that's one frame that's how you do it it's very simple also if you're doing 120 film you just keep scrolling it up this is a spare negative by the way I think this is a tra uh, tail end of an old negative you can see all the different marks if you go too far you can go right back so if I was doing a 6x6 120 film I'd bring it up to there and so on so just take it to the very end and cut it. There's a little knife. That's it. That's how you use a film splicer. I highly recommend getting one of these. It makes cutting film... Oh, there's actually an image in this one. It makes cutting film very, very easier. Or so much easier. See, I'm not standing here with a pair of scissors. Which can be very tedious. Film splicers are so much easier to use. And you can see this is a cheap $10 film splicer. I got off eBay. Uh, I think it's shipped from Japan. This one's made in Korea. Has nice little rubber feet on the bottom. And it's translucent. I also use this as a diffuser for scanning things. And that's pretty much it. Sharp knife. And the gear. And that's just about it. If I had a light box, this would be a much, much cooler review. But I don't. So, using just the light to see right through. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching. It's a quick little review on how to splice film.